All right, everyone. Hey, and welcome to another Steam Deck video. Today, we're looking at the latest update for the Steam client and the Steam Deck, uh, and it's the ability to to record your gameplay. So this is something that wasn't previously available on the Steam Deck, the, the ability to record your gameplay. It was available as a third-party app um, in in the face of the Decky plugin, the the Decky Recorder plugin, which I have used on probably 30 or 40 videos i have used deck recorder in the past when trying to record gameplay for my youtube videos as you know i uh, a couple of months back i switched to to using an external capture card and this is right now what you're seeing is from the external capture card which is a much better choice but it's not feasible for for everyday user for for the average user who uses a steam deck and just wants to share their gameplay this is more for content creators like me um deck recorder was a pretty good option for those people but it had a lot of shortcomings um, first of all the quality of the recording was not really super great and it also affected the performance of the games even even if it was just by a little bit just by one two fps it wasn't really um, a true representative of how the game ran on the steam deck when you have it turned on the other issue is that every time there's an update on the steam the the it breaks the deck keep plugin um, it breaks the plugins, it breaks every plugin, you have to re-download it. And uh, the biggest gripe I had with Deck Recorder was that sometimes it would just stop recording. You would you would press start record and it would show that it's recording. It would play for 30 minutes and then check the recording and see that there is no, that it doesn't record anything. So that's been really frustrating. So finally Steam gave us the ability to record the gameplay uh, as a first party app on the Steam Deck and the Steam Desktop client. So what you need to do is first go to settings, go to system and choose system update channel beta. You have to use the beta, it's currently in beta. Once you do that here, you can click check for update. It's going to show you that there's an update. There's actually a couple of updates that you need to do download one after another uh, until finally you see this here in the left side. In the left hand menu it's uh, a new tab called game recording so let's take a look at that and see how uh, how it runs on the steam deck see if there's any performance bumps and uh, compare it to the recording from uh, my external capture card so uh, you have three options here the first is don't record the second is record in the background so this will record up to 120 minutes in the background without you pressing any button so it will always record and then you can view the recording and you can export um, select clips or you can export the whole thing um, without any issues this will be recorded um, locally on the steam deck uh, the third option is record on demand so you click a button it starts recording you click a button and it stops recording now as i said by default you can uh, record for two hours which i think is a bit too much you would never really need it uh, for two hours so let's change that to three minutes and see how the estimation changes. All right, so um, you can choose the bitrate here. I uh, would always prefer the highest quality available. I don't believe the bitrate affects the performance, it just affects the file size. So I have chosen the highest quality, 24 megabits. And on the Steam desktop client, there is actually an option here to choose the folder where the recording goes to game recording oh okay okay so you need to go you need to go to the desktop so if you go on desktop mode you can choose where your recordings are saved so you can change the folder here and we can choose the removable uh we can choose the sd card and create a new folder here called recordings called recordings okay so this is not something that you're going to be able to do from the uh, from the gaming mode but you can do on the desktop mode and once it's done you need to restart steam it's going to restart steam and then the new folder is going to be selected so after we do that we're going to go back to gaming mode and we're going to try uh, a couple of games and then see what the recording looks like and compare it to the recording from the external capture card All right, let's see if that did anything. Go to settings, game recording, 30 minutes. Okay, raw recordings, okay. And then you've got, and then you got a bunch of more options that I didn't talk about. So you have the, the screenshots, 
so you have your uh, shortcut keys and then on the actual desktop client on a Windows PC you are able to choose uh, if you want to record your microphone but you're not able to choose this on the Steam Deck for some reason all right so let's go back to gaming mode and test it out back in gaming mode and I've set it to record on demand and we're gonna try this out I already tried a couple of recordings and uh, I will share with you some issues that I run into let's start Ghost of Tsushima and I'll try to explain what happens so if you've previously had Deku Recorder installed on your Steam Deck and then you update to this beta channel and you try to start a recording um, using this uh, build-in tool, you will get a black screen and it will record the audio only. Now this happens because, because of Deku Recorder, even though once you update uh, the Steam Deck, all of the plugins are missing, Deku Recorder is still installed and that somehow uh, interferes with this tool. So you have to remove the key recorder, then you have to update to the beta channel, and then you'll be able to to record this without any issues. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm going to start the game of Ghost of Tsushima. We're going to look at a few scenes. I'm going to compare the recording from the Steam Deck and the recording from the capture card. Now keep in mind the capture card captures the raw footage, the raw display. There is no uh, encoding, there is no um, there is no process that's running that, that, that will make the quality lower. It, it captures what you see. So the, the, the quality from the external capture card will always be better than whatever recording you put on the screen. So keep that in mind. And with that in mind, let's, let's, let's run on this bridge and take a look at the FPS. 54, 55, 53. This would settle at around 50 FPS once, once the temperature goes up. This would settle at around 51, 52 FPS with about 20 ms uh, delay in the frame time. This is without the recording, so this is only from the capture card. Now let's run on this bridge again with the recording on and see if we get any performance dips. So, you can go ahead and click the Steam button and even here from the game menu you can go to game recording and you can choose start recording, view recordings, recording settings or you can just press Steam A while in the game. So let's just go Steam A and there we go, we have recording started in the bottom right corner. All right, so let's go on the bridge again. 50 FPS and 20 MS frame time. 49 FPS, 50 FPS, 49. So it's really an insignificant, insignificant drop. Maybe it's a one or two FPS drop. So how can we check that? Let's, let's just sit here on this scene. And it's 48, 47, 49. If we stop the recording, now it's stopped. Okay, so it goes up to 52. So it really depends on the game. But this is a good example. You will probably lose 2 or 3 FPS. It's, it's still a process running on, on the Steam Deck. Even if it's not using the CPU, it's using the GPU. It's, it's still some process that needs, needs some system, um, a pro, some system r resource to, to run it. So you are going to get a performance dip the same as you would with a deck recorder. But... Really, it's not really that noticeable unless you're running a game that is not really running at more than 40 or 50 FPS. Then maybe the 2 or 3 FPS that you lose would be noticeable. But in this case, in the case of Ghost to Shimmer, it's, it's, it's fine. It's really not that big of a, of a deal. But let's, let's start it again and it drops, it drops straight to 49. So between 52 and 49. So... 3 FPS, I would say. 2 or 3 FPS. I guess it depends on the scene. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to export this footage. I'm going to put it in the editing tool and we're going to compare both footages from the capture card and from the Steam Deck and see how that looks. Okay, so on the right I have the external capture card and on the left I have the Steam Deck recorder. Now the first thing to notice is that the Steam Deck recorder doesn't actually record the statistics from Gamescope. And in terms of quality, you can see that the Steam Deck recording is just a tad washed out and just a bit smudged. It's it's really you have to really look for it to see it, but the quality is pretty good. It's I think it's identical to Deck Recorder, maybe just a little bit better than Deck Recorder. This is again on the highest uh, megabits bit rate that you can choose, 24 megabits. Okay, something else I wanted to talk about is how do you actually export uh, uh, the the video once you've saved it? So if you go to Steam and you can go to view recordings 
and here will be all your recordings. So you can check it out. You can start this, you can play it back. And then in game mode, only in game mode, you would have this share button where you can send it to other device, send it to a phone or create a QR link. Now creating a QR link for some reason doesn't seem to work right now. If I stay on this screen, it will show an error in about 10, 15 seconds, or maybe I can open it again. Let's see, share, create a link, failed to export file. So it's, it's still a beta guys, it's still a beta. So there's going to be some shortcomings. But what you can do instead is just close the game and you have to close the game and then you have to go to desktop mode. So you can actually see post in, in your post game summary, you can actually see the clips that you've created. So these are not exported to, to an actual video format yet. This is, this is still some format that only Steam recognizes. And what you need to do next is you need to go to desktop mode. So let's do that right now. Okay. And once we're in desktop mode, we are going to need to open Steam and then we can go to Ghost of Tsushima. And again, we see that post game summary. So if I click on the first one, it's going to open this timeline where you can do a bunch of stuff. You can clip it. You can, you can choose to clip it from, from specific points. It's really easy to, to use, really intuitive. Um, so you can do this whole thing and then you can just cancel the clipping. What you, what you want to do is click here on share this clip and then click on export video file. So this is going to start to actually encode it to, to an MP4 video file. And then we can save that and we can go to documents and open it. And finally, you would see that as a, as a video file. So this video turned out a bit longer than I expected, but there were some caveats I needed to, to go through and to understand how this works. So I can explain it better for you guys. So it definitely, it will definitely replace the recorder because with this one, you are at least sure that you're recording and it's not going to stop on you at any random time. The thing I don't like is it doesn't really record the full screen. So it doesn't record the statistics, the FPS. So if you're doing this to share benchmarks or share performance videos on games like I do on my YouTube channel, this is not going to be useful for you. And I do recommend using an external capture card if you are looking to, to capture that kind of footage. That's it pretty much for this video, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.